All right, next up on this uh, Lay's Flavor Battle Royal, everything bagel with cream cheese. Uh, nothing wrong with uh, this flavor. It seems pretty tame compared to a lot of the other flavors that they've done before, you know, wasabi and ginger or pastrami on rye and coffee, if you remember that one. But uh, I love an everything bagel. I'm a big fan of it. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard to replicate this flavor. The cream cheese is in there. Let's see what's going on. We got the we got chips loaded with poppy seeds here. Which you definitely taste. You taste the poppy seeds, you taste the onion. You get a little bit of tanginess in the aftertaste, which I guess is the cream cheese. The texture is amazing, these kettle chips. Kettle cooked chips are the fucking best. The crunchier, the better. These are wonderful. Um, they're not blowing me away. They do taste good. Because there's a lot of poppy. There's a lot of big poppy flavor going on here. It does taste like what an everything bagel should taste like. And you get that little bit of... Um, uh, cream cheese in the aftertaste and the fact that it's kettle cooked uh, makes it extra crunchier so it's kind of like you're eating a toasted bagel I think it works they did what they were supposed to do it isn't a mind blowing flavor because none of the flavors on an everything bagel is anything too out of the ordinary so if you eat these, expecting something big, you're going to be underwhelmed, but you're not going to hate them. They're very delicious. It's just that in terms of all, you know, if you think about all the other crazy flavors that they've done, even with the fried green tomato, which is fairly bizarre. I mean, who would ever thought that they'd be fried green tomato flavored uh, potato chips? This is pretty uh, low on the scale of weirdness. But they're delicious nonetheless. They're just not, uh, they're just not super crazy. So I can get a few more. I'm going to go munch on these while the camera's still rolling. I think I can write it off as a as work. I'm eating these for, for you guys. You eat a bunch of those, you get the cream cheese. Aftertaste, you get the poppy seeds, they're fine. I recommend them. I mean, if you want to uh, stock up on these, go ahead. I, these, you know, th these could be the winner because they're not, they're not too crazy, and people don't really like craziness. I remember that they had the chicken and waffles one; those were really good. That was from a few years ago. I don't think those won though. I love those, but. A little too crazy for most people. Even the biscuits and gravy. I remember talking to someone who was saying that uh, this the pussy that he is, every time he saw them in the store, he wanted to throw up. I don't know why you would ever think like that. I mean, get a little adventurous with your, with your taste buds and stuff. The fine people at Lay's have gone totally berserk, much like the fine people at Oreo. And we're living in the golden age of, of strange food. Strange flavored snack food, so everything bagel. Does it lack anything? No. Is it everything? No. It's just standard, but delicious nonetheless.